must go. I've got a message for Harry Potter. <laughs> Has anyone seen an owl? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but owls like to attack rabbits <laughs> and eat them. I look forward to your letters, people who know that that's not actually true. <laughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat tonight. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <coughs> There's in no way condone the headbutting of owls. <laughs> Anyone who headbutts an owl surely is a member of Al Qaeda. <laughs> I'm sorry if I cried, but that owl really upset me. <laughs> I mean, he was <laughs> possessed, you see? His head was spinning around, spinning around. It was like, it was like the exorcist, but actually frightening. Do you remember that movie, The Exorcist? That scared the out of me, huh? Remember it? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm excited because Harry Potter opens today and I love Harry Potter and you know why? That's a rhetorical question. You actually know? <laughs> I wasn't asking you. I was asking you like, oh, do you know what? No, why? Tell us, Mr. Rabbit. excited about Harry Potter, do you know why? Because, because uh, I'm 14, that's why. <laughs> that's right, I'm a 14-year-old rabbit. <laughs> Which means in rabbit years, I mean, I'm 14 in human years, in rabbit years, I'm 300. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I have to take a break. When we come back... <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Wonderful Pistachios. Get cracking. fine everybody your completely genuine applause has melted my cold Scottish heart 
You're absolutely genuine and no way coaxed out of you using candy and threats. Applause. <laughs> My nipples are erect, and let me tell you. <laughs> can't you tell? Well, then you should have got high def, shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an early episode of Friends. <laughs> well, I'm kidding. If I, my nipples were erect, you'd see that I have eight. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yes! It is. It's a great day for America. It is a great day. Why? Because well, it's Friday. It's Friday and... Um, come on, it's only one of seven great days. Do you know that it's not, a, it's not a great day for San Diego? The police in San Diego are looking for a 70-year-old bank robber. I don't know how they... Uh, you're looking for someone, but you know his exact age. <laughs> How does that make sense? Anyway, they've nicknamed him the Geezer Bandit. <laughs> That's his name. That, you have to have a nickname if you're a serial criminal. You have to have a special name. They've called him this, the Geezer Bandit. He's robbed more than a dozen banks. Um, please uh, describe him as armed and flatulent. <laughs> <laughs> the victims of his last robbery say instead of a gun, he threatened uh, to tell them stories about his grandkids. And he was last. <laughs> <laughs> He was last seen pulling away from the bank in a 1982 Pontiac with a left blinker on. <laughs> I, you know what I'm going to do when I, I get I just hike my pants up. <laughs> Sexy. Dang. You have to make a decision. I've said this before. You have to make a decision when you're a guy, when you get to a certain age, whether you're going to go to uh, Texas or Florida. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look. Uh, Texas? Uh-huh. Or Florida. <laughs> right now, I'm kind of in don't ask, don't tell. Do tell. Do guess. <laughs> you know, I'm very excited, as you can probably tell, when I hiked my pants up like that. Bye. <laughs> I'm very excited about the big movie opening today. And when I say, you know, everyone's very excited about it, I do mean everyone's... Well, I mean children and teenagers and creepy middle-aged dudes because Harry Potter <laughs> and the Deathly Hallows opens this weekend. <laughs> hey! That's right. I'm going Quidditch crazy! I can't wait. I mean, Russell Crowe's uh, new movie opening this weekend as well. But does Russell Crowe have a big magic wand? <laughs> In your pants. Hey. It's got to be disappointing making a movie and then finding out your movie gets released the same day as Harry Potter. It's like uh, going to a strip club and then finding you're sitting next to Bill Clinton. <laughs> The girls know me. <laughs> you know, actually, the Harry Potters aren't really for me. Why? Because I'm an adult. If you're a grown man watching a movie made for teenagers, I have one thing to say to you. Shame on you, Roman Polanski. <laughs> no, Harry Potter's awesome. It's a global phenomenon. Even Osama Bin Laden likes uh, uh, Harry Potter. That's true. In the last tape, he said, death to all Westerners, except perhaps Harry Potter. <laughs> oh. People I love, Harry Potter. Uh, I know he doesn't talk like this, but I don't really know what he does talk like. So this all is going to have to do. Who's I, Mr. Thank Riff? Thank you. Yeah, all right. Uh, look. The Harry Potter, this Harry Potter movie is so good, though, that they've split it into two parts. Part two doesn't come out until next June. Now, it's obviously why they've split the movies in two. The producer said, and I quote, it's to do justice to the words and ideas in the amazing story, which is Hollywood talk for we can make twice as much money. <laughs> we can make twice as much money, Harry Potter. They've been making these Harry Potter movies for a long time now. The actors are getting, you know, they're getting up there a little bit. 
Have you seen that Ron Weasley, Harry's little, uh, little red-headed friend? Now that the movies are over, he actually works here. <laughs> he does! Say hi to Ron Weasley, everybody! Here he is, Ron. All right, no, no, there you go, get out of here. All right, go, no, go away. Man, that kid was all coming over to me, did you see that? He was coming over, he was, what was he gonna do? Oh, I, I was frightened there, he was going, I, I went like that, and he went like that. It was awesome. No, the, the actors are getting older, though. Uh, Harry himself certainly is uh, very grown up. Still looks great, though. Do we have a picture of Harry Potter from the new movie? Look at that, man. That's... Was that guy in San Diego a couple of days ago? You know that lightning bolt uh, scar is one of Harry's trademarks. I mean, he's destined for uh, greatness. That's what the scar means. I have an interesting scar on my inner thigh. It doesn't mean anything other than I got it from a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it says ball vacuum on the box! On the box! It says ball vacuum! How was I to know? I was just trying to spruce myself up. <laughs> I was just trying to look neat. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, it's commercial break time coming up, Jeff. Did you know that? Commercials and just in time. <laughs> And just in yes, time. Yes, I know that's what you said, but what did you mean? Commercials and just in time. In your pants. In your pants. In, in your, your pants. pants. Commercials yes, and just in time. Right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Wait, Craig, that's not Harry Potter, it's Doctor Who. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> I look forward to your emails and tweets. <laughs> it's not the same, it's not the same! <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> ah, it's like some kind of annoying person at a renaissance fair. <laughs> Tell me, master, would I like Pepsi? <laughs> Time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Our mateys, tweet mails, ho! <laughs> He's right. guys in the band. <laughs> uh, this is from Dylan in uh, Niles in Michigan, uh, who says, uh, Dear Craig, my girlfriend is hanging out with other guys, so does that mean she's bored with me? No, it just means she's a tramp. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know why she's hanging out with you. I need more information. <laughs> and you need more information, too. All right, this is from Amy in Kansas City, um, who says, Craig, am I going to have a rough time in Nashville this weekend if I'm not really a fan of country music? <laughs> I'm going to Nashville this weekend. I'm shooting me comedy special there in Nashville. It's very different from this show. It's funny. <laughs> I 
and I curse in it. Seriously? Ay, caramba! Yeah. Uh, uh, who is right? Uh, no, you, you'll be all right. Uh, you don't have to like country music to be in Nashville. <laughs> this is from Ben in San Diego in California. San Diego? I wonder if it's Ben the Geezer Bandit. <laughs> I don't know, I'll read it out in a geezer voice just in case. Dear Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Do you clean the guest chairs regularly? <laughs> Irregularly? <laughs> or never? Do you know what I like about this? It's, cons it's a considerate uh, tweety email, and I'll tell you why. Because it's multiple choice. <laughs> Do you clean the guest chairs A. Regularly, B. Irregularly, or C. Never? <laughs> C. Never. <laughs> We, I'm telling you, we've got some A-list fartiness going on in there. Do you tell? Well, it's actually not a lot of people doing this, but actually big-time A-list celebrities don't actually pass gas. Their publicists come on and do it for them. <laughs> what happens is they go, ooh, I had a fantastic uh, swan sandwich at lunchtime. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they eat swan all the time. That's all celebrities eat, swan and gold. Uh, uh, swan and gold lattes. And then they go, oh, I've got a sore tummy. And then a publicist comes out and goes, and... But then reality stars come out and they just leave droppings. Hey, look, if you can't handle the truth, <laughs> Shut up. All right. Uh, this is from Jenny in Portland in Maine. I like Portland, Maine. It's a lovely place. It is. Um, Jenny says, hey, Craig, uh, why do you think that people get so caught up in the lives of celebrities? I don't. I'm not caught up in the lives of celebrities. <laughs> Jeff, do you get caught up in the lives of celebrities? So that just leaves you, Jenny. <laughs> I just think you're probably a nosy bitch. <laughs> Thanks for writing. Craig, Craig, Craig. <laughs> ah, come on, I'm only kidding. Uh, uh, this is from uh, Jacob in Otto in uh, North Carolina, uh, who says, uh, Dear Craig, what is your favorite part of the Thanksgiving turkey my mother would like to know? Oh, simply the testicles. <laughs> yep. Yep. By the way, simply the testicles is the name of the, my favorite part of the Thanksgiving turkey. I've noticed I lean a bit to the side. It's the counterweight because of my extremely heavy penis. <laughs> Otherwise, I would walk in circles all the time. <laughs> I know you're probably caught up in my celebrity penis life, aren't you? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the big Harry Potter show where we're not going to talk about Harry Potter anymore. Wow. Uh, my first guest uh, tonight is very, very clever actress and writer. She's written a new book, Simple Times, Crafts for Poor People. <laughs> Gosh, I know you're just going to love it. <laughs> Please welcome the delightful Amy Sedaris, everybody. Amy Sedaris. Chair for your feet? Yes. Oh, you, you're right. Hold I on. Forgot. I got it. Little, yeah, I keep this in case Tom Cruise is ever on. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. 
over there you Thank go. You so much. Put your little oh. there oh. you go. Oh. Oh. You look really good. You look awesome. Thank look well, at I've been you. Hair and makeup for 45 minutes. Listen, you're gonna have a baby. Congratulations. I'm personally not having a baby. My wife is having the baby. And, and, um, and she's gonna keep it. You guys are gonna keep it. Yeah, Never not carry it for anybody yeah. else. We'll keep it for a bit. If it cries too much, out the door. There you go. Well, that's great. How dare you all that? It was a joke. <laughs> They're very literal audience tonight. This looks very nice. May I say uh, how busty you look in the I know. Of I'm very... a busty person. You are quite busty. Yeah, I do, I I do I, notice that. Yeah, I'm um, a top heavy. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you find you lean to one side or...? or... Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I lean to one side. Right, to the okay. left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely... Uh, what is the book about? It's about it's craft? A, it's like a Martha Stewart-y um, thing? Well, it's not like um, Martha Stewart. It's, our, um, it's a very visual book. It's arts and crafts, ages three and up. You know, all kinds of chapters. I got chapters, you know, crafts for people with disabilities, like crippling long fingernails or, like, uh, or chronic back pain. What kind of crafts would you do with chronic back pain? Oh, oh gosh, lots of things. You can wrap rope around a radiator pole. That's fun. <laughs> This is a lovely photograph. Is this you in here? Yes, yeah, I would take my that, nose that. up. That's um, lovely. That's for, um, that's for shut-ins, people who don't leave their house. Oh, crafting for shut-ins? Yeah, like, you know, people who are too sickly to leave their home. That's nice. You know, bedroom slippers. Bedroom slippers? Yeah, it's a good thing yeah. to make with cotton balls. And what? what? <laughs> you know. Oh, and balloons. And ba uh, balloon flowers, yes. Little, uh, you know, acorns with googly eyes. Do, do you, uh, do Jane you... Pittman, that was one of my first costume, because um, I can imitate Jane Pittman. She goes like this. And when I was in high school, whatever I had to do a monologue, I would do it as Jane Pittman. Because I'd go, yeah, he come down here. He told me he come down that river fast. <laughs> so I just loved her voice so much. And yeah, uh, that's I, a beautiful I, slave dress. The guy who made all the costumes, Adam Selman, I met him when I did a Dolly Parton video. And um, and he made my costumes for that. <laughs> Look at you, ping, ping, Dolly. Yeah. And, then, um, and he made this dress for me, too. You moved my heavy penis? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Making oh. Love, oh, Chapter... That, now, is it a, a sex guy doing yes, here, too? Yes, a sex guy. That? Canary, a short robe. It's Paul Donnelly who co-wrote the book with me. Oh. Yeah, that's all about crafts for the bedroom. No, oh, that's For heavy nice. penises. What, what kind of crafts should we... <laughs> I, love, I love this uh, guide to sex here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving him nothing. Yeah, no, it's... it's very, no, my God. Look at that drawing. Justin Thoreau, the actor, he did all my uh, illustrations. Oh, that's a lady with no clothes on and, and a very busy area downstairs. Busy? Yeah, very busy. You want to get crafting down there. Um, yeah. How have you been, Amy, otherwise, uh, the in your life? Patch. Are you good? Are you still living good. in New York? Then? I'm still living in New York, just been on the book tour, and that's, a, you know, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, where did you go on your book tour? Anybody but let excited? me tell you, what? well, all over, but I've been selling potholders that I've been making, and I, too, had carry around like a lot of cash. I made thirteen hundred dollars in potholder sales, and then I saw that you had that no, big I keep, wad of cash. I always cash. keep a bit of cash. I don't yeah. you love having cash around oh, like that? Yeah, yeah. I've got about like there's like eighty bucks here in one. Isn't it great? Ah, but it great. allows you to tip, and you just give it away. I don't. I tip the guests sometimes. Okay. Well, right, what do I have to let's do to get uh, paid? let's see something then. Okay. Let's. Uh, <laughs> so, no, no, not that. Uh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> No, uh, okay. Well, no. Um, <laughs> all right. For a dollar. Okay, for a dollar. Oh, what? <laughs> all right. Okay. For two dollars. <laughs> for two dollars. What is your favorite place you've been to on your book tour? Asheville, North Carolina. Correct. <laughs> Why, Ashwood? Aren't you from North Carolina? I am from North Carolina, but because it was the mountains, there were like beautiful leaves, you know, were on the ground. You won't sell a lot of books to leaves, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it was just good to be there. Mountain folk, you know. It Mountain felt folk. Good. Yeah. That was the first thing that came to mind. All right. Okay. I didn't say the first thing I've came I know, to but me. that's why I wanted to Do you want to play word association? I've never done that on TV. <laughs> Let's do word association right now. Okay. All right, then. Dead. But what? Oh, well. <laughs> no. okay. Do you want to go first or I'll go no, first? No, okay, you go. All right, uh, banana. Oh, yeah, I thought you were... Ooh, la, la. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Because sorry. No, because of it. He said it was dead weight. All right. <laughs> All right, let's play word association again, and I won't say banana. Okay, okay. All right, then. Cucumber. Pepper. Pepper? A green pepper. They're both green. All right, okay. Um, Spain. Ireland. <laughs> 
country. I don't know. All right, and, and, uh, and for All the right, final dollar? I think dollar? dollar final. I think, okay. Uh, how, many, how many dollars have you got? I got four. Okay, for the big five dollars. Okay. All right. Now, what do you think about this? The clock's ticking, but it won't start until I finish the question. I'm good at this, am I good at this? I'm not hanging on every word. I'm, I, like, I'm like, the, the clock won't start. I, I could be Regis. <laughs> you could. Nah, I couldn't. Uh, but, okay, the clock won't start until I... Don't steal this. I'm done. Okay. Right. The clock won't start until I finish the question. Uh, All right, ready? Okay. Right. Here it comes then, the question. <laughs> Have you ever been to Ireland? No. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> I've never been to Ireland. How do we know that's true? Well, uh, you don't, so, I mean, you have to believe me. I <laughs> have to believe you? <laughs> yeah, you have, have to, to believe, believe me. I've right, never been then. to Ireland. <coughs> yeah, five dollars. Now I want to double this. What can I do to All double right, this? All right, double that. <laughs> you want to go for the big double that? <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. You get this back. Uh, um, no, no, no. You get to keep this. Okay. Yeah, because this is CBS money. It's the only way you get it out of them. Okay, let uh, me... All right, all right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you ready? All right, oh, let me get. Okay. For another five dollars, right? Oh wow! Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> the zip code of the last person you slept with. Oh God! Were there zip codes then? Make one up, like I know. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Ireland. Um. Ireland okay. is not a zip code. <laughs> no, no. Uh, one zero zero one one. Incorrect. I know. No. <laughs> Are you embarrassed to give a zip code? Of a... Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't know the zip code. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you slept with. <laughs> All right. Here's your extra five dollars. No, Would I'm not you care? Take your right. money. Okay, that, let, that's enough. I know. All right. I thought... What else have you been up to then? Um, have you been at the acting at all? Plays, um, musicals, singing. I've just been working on this. Well, it's a know, big book. It yeah, takes. It's a you know, it's it's a lot of work, though. Wouldn't it you rather go back to the acting where you're just going to hang around and pretend to be someone else a bit sometimes? Yeah, I'm ready to do that. But this is good, and it's full of costumes, and you are the king of costumes. I mean, come on. You have to be inspired by some of those looks. I do like some of the looks, I should have done yeah. you in the book. Yeah, yeah. I should have, you know, crafting for Jesus. Don't even say it. Great. Oh, there's don't, a stretchy next oh, to his eyes. The this stretching about, is very that's good. That's about um, that. how to stretch yeah, people. Yeah, get some of that, yeah. Look at that stretchy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then I have a chapter in there about how you can injure yourself with crafting. I was making a wind chime for, to hang over a baby's crib out of uh -oh. the lid of a tuna can. No! But it, yeah, but it was a cheap can of tuna, so, you know, it just was, like, flimsy, so blood went everywhere. So that's why it's an illustration in the book. But maybe your wife can make it for your new book. Look, I don't want to throw you off here, and far be it from me to say anything nasty about crafts, but I, I you know, I, I'm going to try and raise this kid without having tuna cans above their head. Oh. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? I do know. But you haven't taught, you don't, what, you don't want to say? I know it's going to be a boy or a girl. Okay, but, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, what, what? A boy or a girl? Or maybe lesbian? it's going to be, uh, no, it's a boy or a girl, definitely. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to tell me? I do want to tell you. Oh, but not in front of I everybody. I just don't feel I can. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I want to tell no, you. No, we have to get there. We have maybe to get I'll the, tell trust you for me. 10 bucks. For $10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, you give me the $10, I'll go to a commercial break, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Come on, boy or girl. <laughs> You're uh, such a swindler. I am a swindler. All right, here, uh, listen, we have to go to a commercial break. Your time here oh, is over. okay. All right, now, okay. Um, do you want to go out? Uh, Hobo style? Yes, please. <laughs> Yep. Allow me to present you Thank with you. the Late Late Show Harmonica. Okay. And your $10. Okie dokie. Riding the rails. Let's ride the right, rails. All right, then. Are you ready? Can you play? Yep. I see. Ooh.
Ah, I'm sorry, I'm getting myself ready for Thanksgiving. Ooh. We celebrate it slightly differently in Europe. Ooh. My uh, next guests are known as Mythbusters. They are on Wednesdays on the Discovery Channel. Take a look at this. Are you all right? Okay, I'm good. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, it's Jamie Heineman in Tornado Shield 2, the Back to the Drug Board Tour. Jamie, take it away. The pilot puts the pedal to the metal, increasing the speed to 180. Jamie and the suit are clinging on for dear life. Please welcome Jamie Heidemann and Adam Savage, everybody. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you since you were here some long time ago uh, doing, the, uh, doing the dancing. It's been too long. Yeah, Jamie, may I say your dancing was uh, reminiscent of a young Liza Minnelli. My very, thoughts. very young. Yeah. Yeah, asleep. Uh, Liza Minnelli. This, uh, congratulations on the, new, uh, on the new season, which is doing fantastically well. Breaking all records. Uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it looks good, though. It looks good. 108 miles an hour. And what were you in? A, a, a hat box? <laughs> hey, it was a, a specially designed armored tent that we, uh, we built for that. In, in case you got caught someplace you know, and there was a tornado, you could put this on, you unfold it, and crawl into it. And, you'd and it be worked. Safe. It actually worked. Wow. I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> did you at any point blow away? Yes. Both of us did. Right. Yeah. Uh, earlier on in the episode, we Before you had your armor tank. Before we had the armor tank, I put on a full set of Batman armor. <laughs> like you do. Because I, I have a set. Uh, I know. And, uh, you really do as well, <laughs> yeah, don't oh, you? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And uh, I stood behind the engines of that plane, and I was able to stand up to uh, uh, 130 miles an hour before I fell down and got blown down the runway. Wow. <laughs> so the, uh, where do you do this? You, there's there's a, 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 an aircraft carrier? Or a, no, a, a, what do they call them? Airport where they'll let you do that? It's a shipping company that has something like 25 747s they use for shipping, and they've got them all in storage up there in northern Michigan. Right. And and when you have the 747, you have to start all of its engines once a week just to keep it certified. So they let us do experiments behind their engines while they're starting them up to certify. Wow. Them. What constitutes, who decides on the myths? Do you guys still decide who, yeah. who's, what's going to be a myth and what's not? And you, you still get the viewer mail in and all that kind of thing? Oh, totally. Yeah, it's a group effort. You know, we have our, our producer director and uh, researchers and everything. We can get together and decide which ones will work. Because it seems to me, because I, you know, I watch the show a lot, and uh, I watch the old shows, and I watch the new shows as they go out, and the uh, it seems to me the myths have gotten a little bigger over the years. From you, you know, know, in the upcoming uh, premiere here, uh, and w the uh, the one taking candy from baby is uh, is you did few, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you go to jail, man. <laughs> you can't. T oh, did you use an actual real baby? We we yeah. four. four you know, you have to <laughs> absolutely. No, you have to use a ballistics gel, baby. <laughs> no. You can't. Actually, it turns out when you want to identify what a baby is, it's not so simple. Different cultures and different countries, they call different things babies. So we went for a 6-month, 12-month, 18-month, and 20-month-old kid. And the, uh, I think the tiniest kid was the one that had the strongest death grip on the... On the candy? On the candy, yeah. What type of candy was it? It was a lollipop about the size of his head. Ah. It, it was kind of a, a new age mom, and the, the kid hadn't actually tasted candy in, until then. His, you, you, you know, we put it up in front of him. So it, you were taking the, not only taking candy from a baby, but first candy from yeah. a baby. Yeah. It was like, ka yeah. You guys are heartless bastards. <laughs> heartless bastards for science. God, I love it. 
So what's the biggest one this season then? What are the more dramatic ones? We, we, uh, I had heard back in the uh, 80s that there was a sports car that was so poorly designed that it was more aerodynamic going backwards than forwards. Is this the... <laughs> That was the ja no the Jag E type was the one that they, they, it couldn't stop because the brakes weren't uh, strong enough to deal with the engine oh, with or the, something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of cars they they said this was true of. We found the most common, and we actually we can't say what brand it is, but we actually cut it off of its chassis right. and flipped it 180 and welded it back down. <laughs> And then we raced it at over 100 miles an hour against a normal counterpart. You do realize there's a kind of gay subtext to everything you're doing. <laughs> you know, it's like the standing behind the engine, taking the bottom and putting it right. Yeah, there seems to be a weird kind of... Not weird, not the gays. Weird, I'm not saying that, but you know... It, I'm just saying, I noticed it, that's all. You're, you're, do you guys ever make out when you're bored? <laughs> You're, yeah. you're mistaking us for our fan fiction. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. There is a kind of subculture that likes to dress up as Mythbusters yeah. and get it on. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, there's, there's Rule 34. What's of, that? The Rule 34 of the Internet states that if it exists, there is pornography of it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. man, that's oh, bad when yeah. you think about it. <laughs> and Rule 35 is that searching for Rule 34 will get you fired. <laughs> I don't think CBS is that efficient. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, now what about the smaller ones? There was, there was uh, uh, one you did last season where you were both uh, wearing uh, very uh, silky seal-like outfits and going off the end of the big sh uh, slidey chute that was covered in uh, Vaseline. What? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing gay about that one. <laughs> We, we actually did buy the suits we were wearing at a fetish shop in San Francisco. Did you really? yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that was in the back. Yeah. yeah, they have a zipper from the belly button to the middle of the back. Yeah, I don't want to go into that, but that <laughs> is... But you got to watch how you land, though, if that's where the zip is, I would imagine. It, uh, you get an, if you land wrong, it's, we flew 70 feet through the air at like 40 miles an hour. If you land wrong, you get an instant headache. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah, it would be bad. What frightens you? What, what ones have you done that have frightened you? We actually just did the most frightening thing we've ever done on the show, which is uh, a couple years ago we did Underwater Car, where I sat in a car and we dunked it in the pool. remember that one, yeah. Uh, it turns out that a lot of cars, when they go into uh, the water, actually turn over. They do what's called turning turtle. So we figured we'd revisit the underwater car and we'd turn it turtle. And so I was in it in street clothes and we dragged it off a barge and into the water upside down and it lurched and it turned and aye, aye, aye. it was absolutely the scariest thing I've ever done on the show. And were you, you, you were a dive master for a while in your life, weren't you? That wouldn't bother you so much, would it? No, that's why we had Adam do it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever, uh, you ever uh, been frightened on any of the myths? I don't imagine me that you're a man quick to fear. Well, at this point, it's, it, we're kind of getting used to it. You know, yeah. uh, it's every show. It's it's uh, something terrifying, and so it, you know, eventually you're you're not terrified so much. We'll find something. <laughs> we'll find something for you. Okay. On the internet, we'll find something that frightens you, <laughs> and then that'll be my viewer man. We'll do All right. that. Well, uh, we're out of time. I know what we could do. <laughs> Let's have an awkward pause. Okay. Oh, yeah. Three-way awkward Absolutely. pause. Oh, yeah. All right. You ready? Ready. Okay. I've got a feeling Jamie's going to win this. So is Jimmy Heineman, everybody. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. Everybody's okay. We gotta go. We don't have time for any more talking. Good night.